how to use Pixlr is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the Chew to a Tucker channel, consider checking out the whole channel for more awesome tutorials and consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video. This is a Pixlr tutorial on how to use the whole online interface basically and how to make a YouTube banner. I personally made the banner, but you can do anything inside here, including YouTube thumbnails and just general graphic design. So if you're interested in this, make sure you watch the full tutorial. I cover the whole uh, online interface. So let's jump straight into this tutorial. So as you can see, uh, you'll probably know once you first load picks for up you'll be greeted by this page now obviously you've got these two options I personally always go for the advanced one you get so many you get so much more sort of options and uh, features and obviously I'm showing you how to use it so it advanced to be absolutely perfect so click on it uh, you don't need to make an account and then as you can see here I made a quick test one but anyway I'll clear history um, because we're gonna make a new one and all you want to do is come down here to create new and you've got all of these options here so this obviously depends on what you're using Pixlr for if you're using it for an Instagram picture use this one for a thumbnail you could use this one a YouTube thumbnail personally I'm making a YouTube banner so for that it's actually um, a custom uh, an image size so it's simply 2560 by 1440 it's actually here but I'll show you how to make you one just for example and as you can see here you do get this option for a background so when you have no background that basically means it transparent so if you layer on a video you can see through it um, but if you have a background like um, say orange it will just be an orange background so personally I won't need a background and it will just be that checker um, which is see through when you put it on top of video or something like that so I'm going to go for that and so it took me to load literally a second and we can use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out of this which is really useful very very similar to Photoshop um, so yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is get the template I'm using for this YouTube um, banner. So I'm going to simply open up a new tab and go to Google. And I'm just going to search for a YouTube banner template. So YouTube banner template and we'll find one. So this is the one I usually use here. Do make sure it is obviously 2560, which it isn't. Um, so is this one? Yeah, perfect. So all we're going to do is right click on this to save the image and I'll be showing you how to import it. So save image as and I'll save it. In. So I've now saved it and then to go and import it, come back to Pixlr and come here. See it layers, you've got one bottom layer here, click the plus. And then you've got these images here so you could add a, an empty layer. So if you want to draw something on with like a pen, the pen tool, I'll show you that in a minute. Image or text, I want to add image, so click on that. And then I need to go and choose it is, so I have to blur this. And then find your image and just double click on it and then it's going to bring it up like this and you can choose the size now because mine is 2560 um, by 1414 this image is also that it matches it perfectly so then you can just go and you click on it and it's fine so all i'm going to do now is create another layer because and i'm going to go for empty um, because now what I've got to do is go and go and add the bars and start adding more stuff so basically what I do normally is I make a, a big box to fill up this and then I have this middle area to work with so to do that all you've got to do is come to the shape tool which is just here so click on there and then you can select the shape so you've got rectangle a rounded rectangle circle triangle star heart and a line so I'm going to simply use this box shape grab it like this and simply fill it into so it's perfect Actually, I've now done it with a stroke, so that's a cool feature. But to change the stroke, you have to redraw it. So I'll make it zero and just delete this layer by clicking here. And then you can right click on it and you can come to the little delete layer. And we delete it. So I did that wrong, but it's always good to show you guys how to use this tool. So come back to the. And because I deleted that, I'm just going to make another by doing the plus and empty. And then I can draw the boxes onto this. So then I'll essentially show you, then you can move the boxes around without moving this. So I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, yep, yeah, all zero, perfect. Draw these on. And draw this on and make sure it's lined up so boom then I can still go and hide this so if I say move this down we're still there and I can say hide this uh, without losing the black boxes so really easy to use and uh, let's jump straight into this so the next thing I'm gonna do is add some text so all to do this all you got to do is I'm gonna go make a new layer just good practice to um, so you can delete stuff without removing everything and then click on the text tool and then I can go and go and add some text so click there click add text and now I've got this option to go and add text. So essentially you can go and choose your font up here. So this font's a bit too basic for, for what I'm going for. So I'm just gonna go and add, um, sort of just, I'll look for a cool font. Um, so I do quite like this sort of uh, bold basic font. So I'm gonna go and enter the channel name. So tutorial Tucker, just like so. And then I'm gonna go and that's looks, yeah, that's perfect, right. So to go and change the font size, uh, you double click it again, and then you can just change it on here. Uh, click on that and you can just drag it like this to increase it. Uh, I want it pretty big. Actually, I want it to fit in the first section. So yeah, perfect. And then I can drag it up 
uh, perfect. So that's lined up, which I really want it to be. And I'm really happy with the font. So that's how you add text. So next up to go and go and say, add a background. All you want to do is I'm going to go for a plain background. Personally, I'm going to add another layer, uh, empty. And then I'm going to go and go and add my background. So to do this, all you want to do is come to the shape tool, which is here. So obviously before I could also go and um, I could go and add, say, import an image and use it as a background by obviously going to Google, finding the image I'm interested in, and then saving it and importing it, which obviously you could do. Personally, I'm not going to. Um, I just want a plain background. So for this, I think I'm going to, I might just go for like a basic color. and drag this down. You get a few defaults down here as well. I think I'm going to go for a gray. I think that'll look really nice. So I'll have that about um, here. Click OK. And the color at the bottom is the one you're going to use, which I just got confused a bit about, but make sure it's the bottom you're using. So you can switch around by clicking this, switch colors. So I want the gray at the bottom. So then I'm going to draw again. And as you can see, it's on top of everything, but I'm going to show you how to get around this. So I've now got the shape perfect. And to move it down, all you've got to do is come down here, make the history a bit smaller, and then just move it through the layers. So I want it to be there. So it stays within the boundaries, the template I did originally set. So now we've got my text. Uh, we've got a nice background. It's basic, I know, but I just want to give you guys the rough idea on how to use it. I'm going to go and add some other shapes and text and other stuff like that. So I'll quickly show you how to use some other tools. So come back here, add a new layer. Uh, because I want to show you how to draw. So when you're do, always doing drawing, always add a new layer because it's easier to remove stuff. Um, so if I could draw directly onto this image, but then it's on that image and you can't layer it up and stuff. So you get a lot more flexibility um, with layering. So I'm going to switch this around and then you can draw just like so. Sorry, I switched this around wrong. Um, and then you can go and draw like this. And then I can go and obviously you get more options. So I right click on that. You can then lower the transparency. Uh, so you could add it, make it less obvious, which you don't get the option with if you're doing it straight onto the image. So yeah, that's it. You can go and draw. Um, I'm going to remove this now because I don't need any um, pen tool, uh, delete layer. And then I'm going to go and add another image. So not another image, I'm going to add another shape. So I'm going to add maybe a star because um, I want to add like social. So click on there. Uh, I've got to make a new layer. Uh, empty as you can see and then you've got all these each options up here so I'm gonna use a rounded rectangle to add like a, a social media so I'm gonna draw that in but I've got the wrong color so to do that you can just do control Z to undo something or you can use history I forgot to tell you about that you can click history down there so for the color I'm gonna go for what will look good with the gray a white that'd be quite nice so we've got that there and then we can draw on just like so make it sort of lined up and then you can just click on there and I can move it around. So if you added another shape, I'd recommend separating another, you do another layer, because uh, otherwise if I draw another shape with this, I'll quickly show you, um, let me, where is the tool here? If I draw another shape here, then they're both gonna be, when I move them around, they're gonna move together, which is just annoying. I'd rather that be separate. Then I just do edit, undo, edit, undo, and then it's fine. So yeah, we've now got this here. So I'm gonna finish off in a minute, but I quickly add like a star to see how that'll look. So another new layer, come here, empty and then we can come down to the shape tool and I'm going to show you like a star design so to get that obviously we want like a gold color so I'm going to click on the white make it somewhat of a golden color um it's sometimes if you want a color you can actually google like a certain color here so I could google say like gold color and it'll give you the number I, I don't know if it's actually called hex number but it'll give you a number and you can literally copy and paste it so then you can go and draw so I'm going to add it here I'm not sure how this will look really but I thought I'd just show you guys how to use it um, and then I can drag it in and it will give you the, the the line. It's sort of, I guess they sort of like boundary lines and it helps you line up with central points and middle points and stuff like that. It's just useful. And, and we can go and dra drag it in the right place. And then finally, I'm gonna quickly go and add, I'll add a new layer and then I'm gonna go and add some more text. So if you click here, not on the main one, just off it, uh, add a new text layer, add. Then we just could go and add like a social media. So at, um, I, I don't have this, but at Tucker maybe and then we click uh, on it, click off it, sorry. And we've got it here and then we can just decrease the size uh, by double tapping and changing the size down a bit to just see so it looks like it will fit. Obviously we've got the wrong font color as well because it's a white background. So we could just do it, um, we'll do it like a gray color again. So we can literally do it without anything. So there we go. And then we can just drag it into the text box and there we go that's like a basic looking banner it gives you like a rough idea on how to use pixlr and to save it all you got to do is do file and then go and do save and then you can go and download it so you've got these file types so for youtube you can use jpeg or um, png i believe 
I think with this you can actually download it and re-upload it if you want to edit it later on, but I haven't tried that out. Um, so if you've got like a, a see-through background, a clear background, I'll use PNG, otherwise use JPEG. I'll make max quality of course, then click download and it should download here. We can open it up and there is our banner. It's my wrong monitor, but here we go. It just opened up and there is a banner. So that's like a quick tutorial on how to use uh, Pixel. I hope you find it useful. If you have, please go and subscribe down below and like the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Out.